Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And just what do we have here? What well, we have? Red Dead Redemption One. Uh, I've received a number of questions of have I played Red Dead Redemption and do I intend to get Red Dead Redemption Two? And the thing is, I do intend to get Red Dead Redemption Two, uh, but I'm not getting it until it comes out on PC. And yes, indeed, I have played Red Dead Redemption. Now, Red Dead Redemption is without a doubt a classic, classic open world game, and nobody's even in the chat, so none of you are going to actually hear anything I have to say, but when you play this back after the stream is over, you will know. Uh, this was actually the very first Rockstar game I ever played. I never had any real interest in uh, GTA. And hello, uh, Big Swole and Jacob. As I was saying, uh, I never played any of the earlier GTAs or any of the other Rockstar games. And this was actually the first one that I ever played, and the first one I ever finished, actually. And it quite surprised me with its quality. Now, this particular copy here is the uh, Game of the Year edition. Sadly, it's only half of the Game of the Year edition. Uh, and hello, Daniel. And that's mainly because uh, the other disc broke. Now, I'm playing this on a fairly... Well, I say fairly new Xbox. It's uh, one from, I think... It's the... The Xbox I'm playing this on is actually the uh, Xbox released with the uh, Kinect, the Star Wars Kinect thing. And I gotta say, the game, this game has aged a bit. I, I, had, I did not remember how bad the frame rate was on the uh, Xbox 360. I guess I just never really noticed. Uh, but yeah, the uh, second disc of the Game of the Year edition was in an older Xbox. It fell down and uh, did that little disc scratch thing that completely destroyed it, so I never got to finish Undead Nightmare. Now, this is, of course, more of a, a movie version of the Old West. I mean, there's, a few, there's a few instances of this game that aren't really accurate, and that, then that kind of annoy me. Now, the overall plot is good. The John Marston character is excellent. And I, I was really quite surprised as, as to just how much I like this game. I should probably take the mouse cursor off the screen. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Now, I think this was uh, the Euphoria engine. It doesn't look that bad. It definitely looks a bit old. Now, of course, uh, this is not being emulated. This is being played on an actual Xbox. And uh, not only that... But this is... I'm actually able to get this in HD, which is kind of funny, because when I first played this game, I was still... No, I, I, I wasn't using that TV. I actually, did, I actually did get to play this game in HD, but it was in 720, because I had kind of a generic HD TV at the time. This, of course, is in 1080. I haven't actually played this in 1080. The uh, capture card I'm using is an Avermedia something, 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 something. It's actually discontinued. It's the same one that, the L, that LGR used to use. And it works quite well. What's kind of annoying, though, is uh, with... Uh... Oh, here's a, here's a part that kind of annoys me. Now, John Morrison doesn't actually do anything wrong. Yeah, see, they got to have the evil uh, old ladies, you know, just sitting there talking about evil crap, you know. It always just kind of annoyed me, but then again, you got to realize where these games are made. I'm sure somebody probably talked like that back then. Sort of like the uh, Old West equivalent to a modern day social justice warrior. Now, this, this character here really annoys me as well. I mean, okay. <clears throat> They're on a train. Okay. They're on a train. She's going to say something really stupid in a minute. I've, I've been thinking about this all morning. You know, before I started streaming. And I really want to just complain about this for a moment. Now, I believe this is supposed to take place in 1901, even though this is supposed to be like an alternate universe to our own. Yeah, the... See, no one would be that... I guess maybe they might be ignorant enough for that, but you gotta realize that if this is even... Yeah, this guy is either really stupid or really ignorant of everything. Because that doesn't make any sense. 
you know, it's like, by this point, 1901, people know that flying vehicles exist. You know, be they... Now, now heavier than air flight was considered sort of a pipe dream around this time, but lighter than air flight, of course, did exist. You know, gliders did exist. You know, and it, it's just... It's one of those problems of we're trying to show how stupid these people are and it doesn't really work. Uh, Red Dead Revolver. I played it for about 15 minutes. <laughs> Once. I have it on uh, Xbox and I uh, have the PS2 version as well. I just never really played it much. I'm not... It, there's nothing wrong with it. I just never really got into it. And yes, Rockstar does indeed make real games. It's sad that this never got a PC port though. Because just imagine what you could do, you know, with, with a PC version. You could update these graphics, you know, have mods. Just look at the GTA 5 mods, but oh well. Oh well, indeed. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, you're supposed to just kind of hate a lot of these characters that surround John Marston. He's supposed to look good in comparison. Yes, Jenny, it is I just do not... It just seems like it's rather contrived. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. And, of course, let's not forget the fact that the person's name is Bush. I wonder what that's supposed to reference. Now, John Marston's design, I think, would later go on to be seen. I, I don't know. I don't know the exact dates on a lot of this, though. Is uh, you got John Marston here? This character in a show called Hell on Wheels, and that show isn't very good. Actually, this looks a lot better than a lot of the in-engine cutscene. The actual game looks pretty good. Now, there's a little bit of controller lag. I mean, it's really pushing the Xbox hard. Now, I always thought that maybe this was like a, a 60 FPS game, but it is not. This is chugging bad. But then again, that's the problem with certain. That's the problem with console games. Now I've I already had a save where the entire game was completed, but I'm not actually using that save simply because it's a massive spoiler. It's more accurate than any EA game. Exactly, combine. And Blackwater, you know. Now this is something you do a lot in this game, is you, it, this game is very story heavy and thankfully the, after that introduction, the story does get a lot better. Uh, sometimes it does seem that John Marston is really, really thick though, and I just fucking shoulder check this guy. <laughs> John Marston really does seem kind of thick at times though, and, and as we will come to see. Because, you know, he just kind of, and, and in Undead... Undead Nightmare, you have there, there's some other issues where uh, there is an issue in Undead Nightmare where he seems really thick. He just kind of goes on. Oh, it's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> I see. Oh, RB. Yeah, that's what that is. Controls are a little finicky. Just a little. That's that's kind of what you get with the Emotion Engine. Still though, not not too egregious. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I now there's a review at the time that came out saying it always seemed like they were trying to uh, run you off the road. Oh my. What's kind of funny about that though is prostitution back in the 1800s was uh, pretty nasty, just saying. Just keep in mind, uh, standards of sanitation was very, very different. That's why it's always funny to hear people wanting to live in different time periods. You would not ever want to live in any other time period than now. Just because the sheer level of technological sophistication we have now is far, far superior. Blackwater, you know, it's always kind of funny that Blackwater really kind of got uh, thrown under the proverbial bus. And I bet if you asked the average person, what exactly did Blackwater even do? Could they name one thing they did? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing 
Now, Marston here has a fairly decent voice actor. My only problem with Marston's voice actor is the fact that... I get that he's supposed to be like Clint, but... But, he just sounds a little too nice. He doesn't really have the gravelly quality that, that, that Clint has. Town with delusions, I like that. <laughs> Now, you don't actually even get to the uh, Blackwater of the town until way late game. We're not even going to get to Mexico in this. Now, once again, in 1901, that the whole horseless, carriages, horseless carriage concept, cars had been around for a few years by that point. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, by around this time, there was already a bank robbery with a car, so... Yeah, this is more of a movie version of Old West. Now, a lot of the the, the early early game is it takes a while for the game to get start to get started, but once it does, it really is quite. Now, this part here still looks pretty good. Uh, this is where John is gonna look kind of dumb. It does not, the, the M1911 doesn't actually show up. Oh, it takes place in 1911? I thought it was 1901. Okay, then it makes even less sense. By 1911, we're talking about mass production of automobiles. Uh, the Wright brothers have already flown as of 1903. We're talking, I think around this time, you would have had the uh, first flight across the uh, English Channel. So, yeah. There ain't no flying machines. You should already know this, unless you're... Whatever. So yeah, some of the technology in this is a little off, but once again, this is more movie than it is real. Which is fine. This is really kind of dumb that he'd think that this would actually work. Bill Bilson, huh? Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Well, that's gonna be a real short game, isn't it? You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. You gotta love how well modeled those teeth are. sure why he thought that would work. That still is a very emotional scene. I forgot how good this was. I mean, it's really kind of dumb that he'd think he could just, you know, shoot that guy with that pistol, but, eh. It's a game. Oh, it's buffering? Well, it shouldn't be. At least not on my end. It's not like this takes a lot of, uh, uh, processing power. All this is is just Show all this is just uh, Avery Media's little media center that takes next to no processing power. So, favorite weapons? Oh, I'd have to say <clears throat> the Schofield revolver because I really want one of those in real. Basically, every gun that I want in real life is my favorite gun. Uh, 
I don't necessarily like the Henry, even though it holds, I think, a few more rounds. I like the uh, uh, Winchester and the uh, Schofield. Those are my two favorite weapons of the entire lot. Although I am quite partial to the Tank Gewehr. Used to be, though, used to be, I was a big fan of the Spencer Carbine because I always wanted one of those. <clears throat> but now, now I know that the real Spencer Carbine is actually shit. I mean, it was probably not that bad for the time, but man. Now, I kind of was annoyed at first when I played this game uh, that the introductory is kind of slow. You don't get to do much, but as I started getting into the story, I was like, you know what? It's fine. I mean, you're only gut shot. Only gut shot. He is definitely channeling Clint, but he just does not have the voice for it. Because it makes you wonder if uh, she's the great great grandmother of uh, Todd McFarlane. I still have not seen any of those anime. Well, the 80s was bigger, better, and way more analog. I will say this, though. Uh, when it comes to the 80s future, I am glad we moved away from CRTs, because trying to get enough desk space for a big CRT was not an easy prospect. That is for sure. And I quite enjoy small v video and audio files versus tapes. Now, a lot of this is a massive tutorial. We don't actually get to the real game for probably about a half hour. Alright, so now that we actually can control all Marston here, we're not going to be doing much. Because there's no missions right now. He's still got gut shot, and so he's trying to recover. The best we got is a pistol. Now that pistol's not bad. Uh, that's just your basic single action army. And the single action army is not a bad handgun, although uh, I have not ever owned one. I own sort of a modern day incarnation of that, which is the uh, Ruger New Bottle Super Blackhawk. I love doing it. She's like, I got the gun out, and she just she just doesn't care. Now that if, now the uh, forty five Colt isn't bad. Forty four forty isn't bad. For me, I just like my forty four mag. And she has no idea that John Marston is secretly completely loony. Now, I've actually ridden a horse once in my life, and that's why. I thought it was A. And I, all I can say is, I am so glad that cars exist. Because I do not like living creatures that I have to ride on. And horses, the more I've learned about these bloody things, the more I'm glad I don't have to bloody well use one. Because they are not easy... To, they're not easy to ride, and they require so much food, water, and just general care. It seems like they're just perpetually dying. Oh, this is 2008? I didn't know it was that old. I didn't play it until uh, 2012. That just get, get the fuck out of the way, dude. No one likes you. Now, 
This is uh, this tries to ape Clint so much. He does a good job. It might as well just be Clint Eastwood the game. See, the timeline is just off. Since this is 1911, you know, the West was already dead by this point. The concept of the Wild West, it was long since dead by this point. Really, this should be set around, you know, maybe 1890, not 1911. Maybe 1900 you can get away with, but 1911, yeah. Yay. It's like, these newfangled trains that have been around for uh, 40 years by this point. See, like, this is a very slow intro, but it's really quite worth it. You can only save one horse at a time. And it's general, it's sort of a crappy one. Now, in the uh, Undead Nightmare, I did eventually unlock the various horsemen of the apocalypse. I always was fond of the one that was on fire. MG42, yep. Uh, Gewehr 43. Uh, the 43 isn't bad. I generally just wouldn't. But I would not pay the thousand or so dollars that you would need for such a thing. Simply because they're not that amazing of rifles. And, uh, ultimately, they, uh, have a lot of parts breakage and things of that nature. Double action revolvers were a thing in 1911. The, uh, Smith & Model 10. Uh, there's a Spencer, even though by 1911 you probably couldn't get the ammo for it, but whatever. No, it's not a fine weapon, it's a piece of shit. Watch the in-range TV on the Spencer. In-range TV episode on that. I always wanted one for years. But when I saw how shitty that thing was, damn. Xbox One, I've not, I, I've not really paid that much attention to, uh, the Xbox One. Uh, if I was going to get an Xbox or a new console, I would probably go ahead and just get the uh, PS4. The PS4. But yeah, the Smith & Wesson Model 10 is from 1899. So yeah, they definitely were. And then if you go back to the cap and ball days, what you had, of course, were... Uh, you had the Adams double-action revolver which evidently worked pretty well. The Adams was actually seen in the uh, classic, classic Clint Eastwood uh, cowboy film, The Unforgiven. That's what he tries to shoot with at first, but can't hit anything. And then he gets out his... Uh, gets out his double barrel and just blows away this uh, jug or a jar. I forget what it is. That was actually quite a cool scene. Now, I don't know how good the Adams was. I actually I was always kind of fond of the Adams. Uh, but I never went ahead and got one because they're like 600 bucks, and it's like 600 bucks for a cap and ball. Fuck that. Now, I have owned a cap and ball, but I no longer do. I, I had a uh, Colt Navy. The rabbits. I'm just trying to hit the things. Not the poor rabbits. Now, how this thing were Yeah, that... This is definitely a video game when it comes to a wide variety of things because, uh... You cannot reload... You cannot reload... Yep. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I cannot remember how to decrouch. Okay, there we go. I have not played an Xbox game in many years. So... And I'm running into a wall now, because I play the video games as good as the uh, polygons. I, find, I always find aiming with a uh, controller to be kind of annoying, especially when compared to mouse aiming. I have not played Nightfire, but I do own it. See, that line there made absolutely no sense. Because, okay, like, why don't you move to the city and become a lady of... Okay, where is she going to get the money for that, dude? It's like, it's one of the things I've often... It's a little incongruous line. I keep saying incongruous a lot, but it is an incongruous line. Come on. Gotta get used to playing with a controller again. 
You broke the law. How did I do that? Oh, I must have accidentally shot her in the back. Even though, clearly it wasn't shooting her in the back, but whatever. Hit detection is just the fever dream of a madman in this game in many instances. It's not as bad as, as it could be, but it still is a thing. From sun to sun. Let's go. Is that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the life. There we go. Uh, coyotes and stuff like that. What's always funny is when my grandparents had land many years ago, we often ended up just doing so much target shooting, like all the animals just ran away. Because it was all like, uh, all the various wild animals, you know. It was actually quite amusing when you think about it. It sounded like World War III out there. That that lever is not nearly is not nearly as smooth as this game makes it out to be. I like how, I like how the horse could just do that. I forgot how you actually activate. There you go. That's how you actually did I. And I cannot hit to save my life today. Oh, come on. If only this had a PC port, then all I'd have to do is just use the goddamn mouse. Now, of course, when I was actually playing this legitimate, I was able to get all the goddamn chickens. Heard of AH? I have not. I have heard that Metro 2033 Redux is a lot better, but I have not actually... I still have the original version, and I thought it was okay, but I have not actually played the uh, remake of that. And Metro 2033 was an interesting book, depending on the translation that you read. As is The Witcher. The Witcher is an interesting series as well. Once again, depending on uh, the translation that you read. I'm, I'm actually quite fond of some of that. Now, I have not actually finished Witcher 1, so I've not really gotten into the Witcher games. They're just such massive games to finish. I'm not spawned, by the way. Alright, let's go. Uh, uh, you also you gotta love that little rifle, you know, holster. I guess animating a sling would be uh, somewhat difficult. Extra ammo from the trunk that just magically appears. Overall, this is an absolutely amazing little game. I mean, like, it was much better <clears throat> than I had thought it would be. Yeah, you can get different uh, clothes and things of that nature, but for me, it's almost... It's almost not even worth it because your initial starting outfit's so good. It's like, why am I even gonna bother? You know, it's like, who cares? The only one I really want is that army outfit, which I kind of like, but... Actually getting it done, actually getting it is not an easy prospect. And I'm not one who likes to deal with piddly crap. Some people have valuable information about surroundings and forms of map. It's like, eh. There's only so much we can... I, I actually want to hurry up and get out of the uh, starting area. So we'll go to the little bee. Now, this was also referred to as uh, Grand Theft Horse 4 when it came out. And I gotta say... I'm t I'm very tempted to eventually try Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, especially after getting c after kind of getting into Grand Theft Auto 5. I primarily just play the uh, multiplayer, and that's it. And hello, Corey. Why am I not surprised? The PS3 seems to be a very glitchy machine, much glitchier than one would think. Ah, if only you could open carry a rifle and a pistol in this world, but alas, that is not to be. I mean, I guess you could, but... And it's not illegal, I could go out walking around it, out in front of the house with the AR slung, but I'm, not, I'm certainly not going to do that, that's just asking for trouble. See, guns back in this time were not seen as like the icon of evil, like people used to walk around all the time and no one really cared. The only time it really came, came to be an issue was uh, in uh, a lot of the towns didn't like them for whatever reason. But then again, they, like today, the laws were definitely enforced on a very unequal and uneven basis. 
you know, even as of like uh, like the fifties, you could you could go like buy a rifle downtown and just walk around with it. No one would say anything. And there weren't any spree shootings then, now were they? But whatever. You know what's funny? You should you say that, Jacob Kennedy? But uh, I got the very first PS3. I got Yellow Light of Death, literally within a month. And then my second PS3, the Blu-ray laser broke. After I got a uh, 360 Slim, it worked just fine. And this 360 here is another 360 Slim, the uh, Star Wars Special Edition, and it's worked quite well as well. But I will admit the very first uh, issue Xbox 360 to work kind of crap. I did get a red ring on that one. And then when I got a replacement, it red ring too. Eventually I should get a PS3 Slim. Because all I've had are the PS3 fats. So, there is that. Let's go. Yeah, that is the case, Corey. I don't... It's all... It's, it really is just a massive media blitz more than anything else. It's like, gun bad. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, it's just some kind of goddamn race. See, since I've never been a particularly big fan of racing, or racing games, Call yourself a rancher. it's like, you know, when do I get to shoot people? This is gonna be close. It's like, I'd rather shoot people than ride around on a goddamn horse. Jingle those spurs, and we're not going to get to shoot anybody for a very long time. I might actually do two streams blood? of this game, because now once you get out of this area, you will. You, you get there's a lot of action and, and combat but for like the first hour you're stuck doing crap like this which is not bad but this is very much a character building exercise in every sense of the word though because it's got to build the character of John Marston John Marston's honestly I get that he's trying to be like Clint, but he's actually much too nice to be Clint. I like how the horse can just like ride on that uh, fence there. Oh crap. Oh shit. Well, I probably just fucked that one up. This is one of those things where like you fuck it up once. There is absolutely no way to actually uh, catch back up, but oh well. I have I love doing races, so that means I don't have a problem doing it again. Now there is another race towards the uh, midpoint of the game where you like it, or like in the back of a cart. Yeah, I am so screwed. There is no way I can catch up. Can I just restart? Ah, eh, fuck it. Maybe I can just do a supposed to lose sort of thing because I just want to hurry up and be done with this. Uh, I have seen some of their stuff, and, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of crap. It's always kind of funny when, when people suck. Oh, well, dead. <laughs> you know, John Morrison just couldn't stand losing, and so he literally just had to kill himself in shame. Uh, it's always kind of funny how people such as those, the young, uh, the young individuals... It's always rather interesting that people like that, they're very smug, very self-righteous, but they never have anything of real substance to even say. I mean, there's of course that very infamous clip that you can find where uh, one of those idiots is literally saying, Yeah, I guess I am better than you. It's like, better in what way? They always are very... Y you ever notice that SJ Dubs always... I don't... I, always, I hate always going on to the SJ Dubs, but it is something that is kind of on my mind on occasion, especially these days, that they're always very quick to make value judgments. And what's always kind of interesting about that is they're value judgments that have very little to do with what's being argued about. Instead of saying, this person's wrong, they always like to say, this person's an idiot. Whether or not they're, whether or not they're intelligent or otherwise really is inconsequential. What it comes down to is, is what they're saying factual? Is what they're saying correct in some way? And if it's not, then okay, then they're wrong. Them being an idiot or them being uneducated generally has very little to do with it. 
At least that's how I've always felt about it. One should be seen as an idiot for what one says, not... You, basically, if someone acts like an idiot... Oh, I probably lost this one again. I remember this being a somewhat... I, that's why I don't like races, because it's like, I've never been particularly good at them. Especially races uh, where the margin of error is very low. Yep, fucked it up again. Uh, there's no way to restart, so... Cause you have to you have to just gallop just enough to do it. You can see to me, this isn't necessarily a challenge I even really care about. Because see he's gonna go too slow. Well, we're gonna drop into that ravine yet again. Actually not fuck it. Oh Goddamn horse! You assaulted your horse. Oh my! <sighs> so, what is this, the second time I had to do this goddamn race? That I didn't give a shit about in the first place? Uh, I've read the first one. I actually have uh, a good chunk of the series. I was actually able to get them for pretty cheap, too. Uh, let's pay attention. So we can actually get past this goddamn race and not look as bad as Polygon. Not look as bad as Polygon. I have got you now. It's like, come on. Uh, who even cares? Uh, but I tell you, even if you don't like. Holy crap, I did not mean to do any of that. But hey, it worked. It counted. <laughs> but once you get past this, this this starting portion, I can't imagine what the starting portion in Red Dead 2 is. I well, guess you gotta like plant crops or some crap like that. I don't know, are there survival mechanics in Red Dead 2? I haven't really paid that close attention to it. I wouldn't be surprised. See, right here is where I love the ability to quick save. You know, a decade from now when the Xbox 360 emulator is like fully functional, I would just hit F1 right there so I don't have to go and redo the rest of this crap. This isn't even a bad race, it's just I'm bad at it. That's one of my problems with uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, was there's a race at the very end, you fuck up once in any way... Ooh, ooh, no, don't hit the rock! I don't want to have to do this again! Like, you fuck up in any way in that uh, final race in that game. Uh, yeah, I, I had to retry quite a few times, and eventually I said, fuck it. <laughs> That's one of those games that I've never finished, because some little element like that pissed me off. Can I just hit F1 already? So I hate checkpoints. Oh yeah, we gotta break a horse. I remember that. That almost made me just say fuck it to the game because it was like, oh come on, where's the actual shooting? When can I, you know, shoot? Oh crap, I missed the turn. Yep. And so all of that, so we get to do it again because I missed the turn. Oh, well, let's see. Maybe, uh, maybe I won't have to redo it. Please tell me I don't have to. Thank Yzmir. Because I do not want to have to do another goddamn race. Yeah, maybe we could actually you know, shoot somebody in the uh, shooting game. Moonraker is very different from the uh, film. It's actually about missiles versus spacecraft. How to reboot Duke Nukem without caving to SJWs. Don't do it. Or make Duke Nukem female. You might be able to do that. Just make a bombshell game in the Duke Nukem style. I know they already did a bombshell game that was utter crap, but still. Because you know if they have Duke Nukem as a straight white male, they're going to do nothing but denigrate him the entire time. My theory for a Duke Nukem reboot would be to have Duke Nukem 
basically be a washed up actor. By which I mean he's a washed up ass kicker and he has to uh, regain the respect of everyone by saving the world again. I mean, it's it's simple. It allows you to uh, have Duke Nukem actually learn something. Now see, look at this. This is such dull crap. That's the only problem I have with this introductory. There needs to be some action. It's really good character building stuff, but I need something to actually do. I think if they... I think if you could have battled with Bill Williamson and still lost, I think that would have made for a much better introductory. Because at this point, we are 40 minutes into the game. We've done nothing but shoot a couple rabbits. That's it. That's all. That's the only gameplay we've got. <laughs> Gibberish? That's the most accurate thing John Marston said all day, because it's true. Although there's multiple theories, none of them really bear out. Work with. <laughs> what old ways exactly? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the car. That's actually more accurate than not, is uh. Uh, most of the actual shootings in the Old West were over something like that, and you normally would get shot in the back. There wasn't really duels as such. Now, there was one that was kind of like that, but it wasn't like some kind of ritualized thing. What's kind of funny is it was, I think, I think it was either, either it was Buffalo or Wild Bill who did it, and basically he just turned around and shot somebody, and that was it. That was all. It wasn't particularly entertaining. Modding DNF and making an overhaul. Well, you have to do a lot of you have to do a lot when it comes to uh, getting DNF to actually be any good. Also, you gotta love that uh, pop in on his hat. The universe just wasn't ready for such an epic hat. Now, patent medicine. Oh my god, that was some nasty shit back in the day. I mean, it'd be easier just to get a politist from the Middle Ages. Chewing tobacco, apple, medicine. What does it say here? It completely restores your health. Yeah, what's it got? Radium in it? Uh, there's a, when radium was popular, which would have been around this time, there was actually a radium water. And uh, I think it was supposed to increase, like, vitality or something along those lines. And uh, what's kind of funny about that is there was this guy who drank, like, I don't know how many bottles of it, so much so that his lower jaw literally fell off. So, yeah. No. Uh, to be able to open carry a rifle. It's just the fever dream of a madman. Although I will admit that that'll probably get kind of annoying after a while. You like do it once. You know, it's like, well, okay, that's kind of heavy. But then again, it's one of those things where like, uh, you open carry it, and, uh, somebody tries to pull a spree shooting, you whip that off and shoot them before they can shoot anybody, well then uh, you just kind of made that worthwhile, didn't you? 
All right, finally we could. Oh, that's not. That's literally just a decal. I thought that was like a bounty mission because you can do bounty missions, which I'm sincerely hoping we can do soon. And you can play poker and all sorts. There's all kinds of random crap you can do. I've never been a big fan of uh, collectible card games. I've never been a big fan of any anything like that. It's just like, let me get to the actual game, please. Let's see if we can actually find anything around here. Now, I do, now, I'm not sure how far we can even go right now, because it's not as though uh, everything's opened up yet. This is pretty much all we have right here. We can't, like, go around there, because uh, invisible walls and things of that nature. But let's see what we can possibly do here. I don't want to play five-finger filet. I don't care about poker. Don't have any money, so we can't go to the goddamn, uh... Hey, you can also watch movies, because, um... When, when I play a game, I want to watch a movie. It's a, it's, a, it's a neat little inclusion, but who cares? Have you been to a dead mall before? And the answer is... Sort of. A mall, I've been to a dying mall that basically lurches on as a zombie, but not a dead one. I have seen a number of videos on them that look kind of interesting. What in Tarnation? You know, I've never actually heard anyone say Tarnation, but I have indeed uh, heard people unironically use Howdy. In Utah, no less, of all places. Just shoot him. I mean, uh... You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of Williamson boys? Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> what, you, you getting cheap with me, boy? He would not have been holding it like that, like, at all. Because, uh... Williamson the, uh, Weaver stance wouldn't come out until, like, the, uh, late 70s. Now, the Marshal's actually a pretty cool character all around. Also, you gotta love that good trigger discipline, which is also ahistorical, because trigger discipline as we know it today is a fairly modern concept. Uh, people used to add the finger on the trigger all the time. You can see it in historical photos and things of that nature. Because they didn't care! They didn't care about liability and things of that nature. They just did it. Now, this is a character, I can't remember the name of the actor at the moment, a lot of this is very much based on Unforgiven, because the, the marshal here is very much based on the uh, sheriff from Unforgiven. Concepts of jurisdiction is also a modern con is also a modern thing as well, but you know, video game. I know, and that hat is pretty pretty hilarious. What's kind of interesting, though, is Real World West had a lot lower crime than the cities did. I wonder why!
Yay, I mean, um, I'm sorry for your uh, town. Wait, no. no! Let's not deal with the hoods. Let's go shoot the cattle rustlers. Let's have some fun already. Okay, boss. Versus boring fisticuffs. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? I always find that, uh... find that word hilarious. Calling somebody a cuss. Now that is something that is very old. Alright, let's go beat the crap out of some cretins. Victorian era, London, or cyberpunk? Uh, I'd go for cyberpunk, honestly. Actually, what's the punch button? I actually still don't remember the controls. Oh, this must be a cutscene of some description. Yep, that's what it is. Can we just shoot him? Would you look at that top hat, though? I just love the fact that the horse just knows to show up. He's got that. He's got that same ability that uh, Ezio does in. Uh, Assassin's Creed. I might actually, I might stream Assassin's Creed Brotherhood at some point as well. Do not kill Walton. Why can't I? Just because he's just because his great grandson is going to eventually create Walmart. Oh yeah, so I got to make sure we do. <laughs> yeah, but it's way less fun. I could just smack into a cactus. Of course, that always is kind of funny how they say that. Like, a lot of these people, what are they going to get? Like, 38 cents from your average person? They're burning down houses and things of that nature. Yeah. But then again, if they weren't particularly bad, we wouldn't feel, we'd feel bad about shooting them, wouldn't we? This still looks good. If this is from 2008, damn. This is age better. I thought this was like a 2011 release or like 2010. Not 2008. Oh yeah, there is it. Take cover. Whilst I try to remember how the controls work. Oh wait, I can't shoot him. Bastard behind the crate. I don't even see him. Oh, it's just him. Okay. I I got I got confused with the. Uh, ooh, I think I shot the gun out of his hand. I totally planned to do that. Almost. Hey, screw you. Oh, the obvious target. I keep thinking that I'm, I'm used to the PlayStation controller, so I keep thinking X is reload, but it's not. So I just keep jumping in the air like an idiot. It's a good thing John Marston can uh, tank. So, okay, getting shot with a 56-56 is not going to make is not something you can just shrug off. Oh, there's another hilarious aspect of this game. Uh, when you're out with the marshal, he'll just constantly say, "My God," and "Oh, good God," over and over again. It's quite hilarious. There he is. And shoot him in the back. By this point, the most popular rifle really should be the Winchester whatever. Not the Spencer. I, I, honestly, I don't think you can get any ammo for that. Now, you could still get 44 Henry Rimfire. 
by either shooting me in the legs or dead. Just shoot. Why don't we just shoot him? We're just gonna hang him. Senate of JR. <laughs> Well, I want to be, so we could actually, you know, shoot the bad guys. Since this is a video game, after all. Now, you can, like, shoot the birds, and that's actually an achievement, but I never bother. Money. Zero to twenty bucks. And twenty bucks for 1911, at least in our world, uh, was quite a bit of money, actually. Let's see. Anything in the container? 38 bucks. Let's see if we can actually, like, buy a gun. For 58 bucks, you could actually buy a wide variety of firearms. Oh, yeah, like, you can skin stuff out in this game, too. I'm starting to really remember how this game... I haven't played this game probably in about six years. It's every bit as good as I remember. Oh, yeah, there's the... Oh, how the, the rabbit is that stupid. That's okay. Let's see, can we skin him? Can we skin him out? Oh, we can! Because you can sell uh, animal skins and things of that nature for money. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, oh, all we got was rabbit meat. Ah, yeah, well. And it's not like you have to eat. Master ball aspects, skills like hunting and sharpshooting can gain fame and money. And so here we have the world of Red Dead Redemption. For 2008. I gotta make sure that's 2008. Because that, that's, this seems too recent to be 2008. I'm, I'm literally just gonna look at the box. And see here, uh, where is the old copyright date? I can't seem to be able to find it. Uh, maybe the original one came out in 2008, but I'm getting to seeing 2011 on this thing like I thought it was. Still though, for 2011 it does not look that bad. There's a lot too, indeed. Capture a lot of bounties. And yeah, the bounties are quite useful. Now, of course, I'll need to actually get a lasso so you can lasso them. He's no good to me dead. Alright, let's check the old map here. See how long I've been going? About an hour? Alright. Pleasant's house. You know, there are a lot of weird uh, names in the south. Uh, which I assume is where this is. Uh, most notably, there's a, now, not in Texas, but in uh, Virginia and places like that, you'll have places literally named Orange Courthouse, which is a, a an Appomattox Courthouse wasn't an actual courthouse. That was actually the name of the place where the uh, surrender instrument was signed. It was literally Appomattox Courthouse. I don't really know why they thought that was a good name, but eh. Oh yeah, and the cougars and stuff like that. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. You know, I might end up playing this on my own time, uh, off stream, because I remember how much I enjoyed this game. Just gotta get used to the uh, somewhat sensitive Xbox controller. This was really good. I mean, this was. It's easy to see why people were so uh, were, were anticipating Red Dead Two. I'm actually kind of. I, ha I have to admit it, I'm even more excited for Red Dead 2 now than I was. You know? Because I'd forgotten how much I actually liked this game. Okay, I don't think there's actually going to be any bounties available. At least I don't remember them being available at this point. But first, we must stop off at the gun shop. And see if we can buy anything. I'm literally just going to leave the horse there because who cares? Alright, let's see what he's got. Probably nothing that I can actually afford. Or not available. 350. That's not entire. Obviously they're using uh, a different type of uh, monetary system here. Because like a Winchester around this time would be like 50 bucks. Which would probably be the equivalent to about 350 bucks. But still, it's not entirely accurate. But then again, this is Vigigam. Come on, Marston, run! Oh, they took my boy. My boy. Who 
Not the younglings. H and K or Sig Sauer. I don't own any H and K uh, firearms, but I do have a uh, Sig, uh, Sig AR. I actually show it in a number of. I uh, showed it in the uh, three gun, and the uh, Fourth of July. It's a very well made firearm. Very. You can definitely tell the quality that goes into that. Finding a lot of great weapons just by playing. Yeah, you can just uh, get all, most of the weapons for free. Search for the boy by Hanging Rock. Well, let's check the map. What the fuck is Hanging Rock? Okay, there it is. Alright, let's set the old waypoint. The old, uh, Old West GPS. And let me just have the horse just show up randomly because that's how horses work. They can see and hear from miles away and require no food, water, or, uh, brushing down. Because evidently if you don't brush down the horse, it'll die or something. And, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be galloping around. It would literally just be going, like, at four miles an hour. Walking goddamn speed. Uh, you literally get the Schofield revolver for free uh, when you get to Mexico. Because when you get to Mexico, uh... Uh, what's his name? Landon Ricketts, I think his name is? Or Landon Pickett. It's Ricketts or Pickett's. Basically, old cowboy, he just straight up gives you the Schofield just out of the blue. Which was really quite cool. And kind of annoyed me because I wanted to buy it, but whatever. But whatever. I wanted to earn it with the sweat of my brow. And I love how the horse can just go right up a sheer cliff. Alright, there we go. All right, now we just gotta find the random kid before he gets uh, his head chopped off. I think it's gonna be over here. Let us see, shall we? Check map. Let's check the old West GPS that totally existed. There were some technologies that you wouldn't have thought existed back then. Uh, most notably, the portable phone. Like you could hook it up to like the literal phone lines and make a call and uh, one of the bank robberies of the time was foiled by uh, literally calling the cops literally just calling up the cops they were able to do that which is uh, quite an interesting little thing to say the least the west was not quite as primitive as one might think search for clues we have a shoe and a bone And red paint. American appetites. Oh dear. Oh, is this like... I don't remember there being like some sort of a cannibal holocaust kind of thing going on here. So you can this part of the encounter. The story is not oval. Not oval? Not over. Check back at the Shire Reeve. Alright, it's been an hour. I'll join up with the old uh, Discord team in a minute see what they've got going on. Uh, I don't think you actually get a... You get a tank of air. That's, a, that's, that's one of the in-game weapons that's really historically inaccurate. The tank of air does not actually... literally doesn't exist until... Am I, getting, am I being chased? I heard, just heard some incidental music. No, nothing. Like the, yeah, the tank of air literally wouldn't exist until 1918, but whatever... You do get a Carcano in this game, which would be very, very unlikely around this time. There are plenty of American-made bolt actions. Now, what I'd like to have seen in this game, which would have been a, which would have been a game-breaking weapon, is the uh, Nifty Model 8, the uh, Remington Model 8, which was a self-loading rifle that did exist around this time and could be fed from stripper clips. It was kind of ahead of its time, uh, but since it was ahead of its time, it wasn't that amazing as it was a, a long recoil system, and it was very, uh, shall we say, finicky about certain things. Hello? Hello? Armadillo 731? <laughs> Hello? New line. Hello? Maybe if it was plugged in, it would work. Maybe, if you plugged it in, it might work. Who's they? What the hell's an aluminum falcon? No, 
not flyover country. The phone would have existed for about 30 years by this point, so... It's Fatty! That's literally a character from, uh, The Unforgiven. This is so based on Unforgiven. I hadn't seen the movie Unforgiven when I first played this game, but, like, it's really obvious. <laughs> and your really nasty looking teeth. Ah, that double barrel shotgun. I happen to have a double barrel, but it doesn't have exposed hammers. That's more of a goose gun than it is a uh, coach gun like that. I've always kind of wanted a coach gun, but not enough to actually get one. I think we'll finally get to shoot somebody again. But this is always what happens, but th this story is actually very engrossing, even if it's not that engrossing to stream, because we're not actually shooting anything right now. And the voice acting is absolutely excellent. Just be glad he's not Clint, because Clint would just, like, grunt out one or two words. Yeah. Just imagine if that was voiced by Clint Eastwood himself. Neither am I, but it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. And worse. Nothing, but he's gonna certainly pretend to. Uh, at the time, he probably wouldn't feel that way, but whatever. It's like, at least they threw in a line about government overreach, which is a significant issue. Uh, there, I don't think there's actually a 1911 in this. There's an FN 1903, though. Uh, there wasn't a C-96 Mauser in this game either. There was, in fact, a C-93 Borchard. Because, yeah, I am indeed a gun nerd, as we all know. Oh, shut the fuck up, fatty. No one likes you. In the movie, you got shot in your fat belly. With a, with a Spencer, no less. Ah, oh, that's Spencer. You know, I would have loved it to... Did I knock him down by accident? No, I didn't. Damn, I hoped I did. Finally, we get to do something. Now, of course, the, uh... It looks like we're shooting, you know, smokeless powder. The, uh, smoke would be much worse than this in real life. The smoke would be much worse than that, but I guess it's okay. We gotta go shoot all the various SpaghettiOs. Just tap A to sprint. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and join up with the old uh, live streaming group. Surprise! Uh, Surprise! Uh, FN 1903? Yep, that's what I thought. How to reboot Turok but make it more like the comic slash N64 games? Uh, well, you would think there'd be a 1911 in this game. You might be thinking of, uh, a different game, such as, uh, Fallout New Vegas, because the 1911 is in that, and the, and, and New Vegas is kind of... Oh, texture pop in! New Vegas is very much a Western-styled game. Speaking of, uh, pop-ins, um, I'm playing Crisis right now, actually, from, like, the GOG version, to be precise. That means I can actually play the game. Yeah. And I've noticed that, um, like, there are, like, these barrels that I was, like, that just, like, popped in a little earlier. 
and I'm just like, can I change out the settings? And no, you can't, as far as I can tell. Uh, one of the things about Crisis, at least for me, is I cannot get it to run particularly well, even with the GOG version. Uh, I do not know what the issue is. Just get a lot of slowdown. I'm assuming it's because the processor isn't that amazing on this thing. Well, yeah, I do have a Ryzen, and it's actually a first-gen Ryzen, so... Yeah. Generation 1? Yeah, I'm a Gen 1-er, but I do desire to go to Gen 2. However, I've heard that you had to, like, flash the BIOS to a certain version on, like, a certain... If you have, like, a certain motherboard so that Ryzen... The second-generation Ryzen has been work properly or something. Yeah, why am I not spray? Ooh, shot his head. You know, I actually yeah. can't wear a cowboy hat simply because it makes my head way too hot and I end up getting overheated. When I wear like a motorcycle helmet... Ooh, blew his foot off. When I wear like a motorcycle helmet, I basically get a case of surfer dude hair syndrome yeah. after I'm wearing it for a while. And I'm and my hair is normally bouncy and curly, so. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. Give me all the shit. Ooh, look at that ragged all. That that can't be. <laughs> that can't be. Uh, that is not pleasant. Tap a, tap a, tap a. Now I do. I I really would like to get one of these days a uh, Winchester, ninety four. I actually considered getting a, uh, a, uh, shit. You consider getting shit? A repro of the, uh, 1866 Yellow Boy, but a thousand bucks for a rifle that's... And it's, they're beautiful rifles, don't get me wrong. You birdie knows what they're doing when it comes to, uh, cowboy action rifles like that, but... A thousand bucks for a, uh, retro rifle like that just doesn't seem worth it to me. Pussy. Give me all your money. Loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. Yeah, we're already up to four, we're already up to eighty four whole dollars. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna look at bridge. Now I I could have got an actual Winchester, a legitimate Winchester ninety four, uh, many years ago before Winchester even went out of business. Winchester went out of business in two thousand six. But I chose the Xbox Classic over that. And I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. But then again, you know, how was I to know that Winchester would go out of business? I mean, Winchester was an American institution. You would have thought that would have stayed in business forever. But, no. Nope. Now, the Winchester name still lives on. I'm going to pop your head up so I can blow it off. Shoot him in the back. I'm not John Wayne. Uh-huh. But I could have, and hello, uh, Shadow Strom. But like, I could have got one of those back in the day. But damn, you know, I wanted to play that new Halo Chief game, and well, <laughs> this is where the controls get a little finicky. Trying to like line yourself up because they are definitely trying to be very realistic. We gotta loot <laughs> the bodies, okay? Because we need money. Oh my god, I'm being hunted down by North Koreans, holy shit. Kim Jong-il. Not, uh, well, it's 2020, so I think Kim Jong-un, I would assume, is the, damn it. And I, for, and I died, holy crap. Mm -hmm. oh AK versus god. armor. Love the alien ship in Crisis. That was actually a pretty good level. For some reason, people hated it, but I quite enjoyed it. The stealth was actually not that bad? It was a little easy with the uh, cloaking device. Context sensitive gamers are a bit odd. Uh, some of the fancy stuff in RE4. Ah, uh, RE4. I should stream that. It's just which version? You know, the PS2 version, the, uh... How about the GameCube version? I don't actually have that version uh, that I can emulate. I have it legitimate. That was actually the first version I played. Because around 2000... Nine ish, you could get them for like twenty dollars because the uh, Wii was so popular that like the GameCube had no value. The GameCube? Yeah, no, it had no value at that point. So you could literally get them for like twenty bucks, and I did. Oh, I have one. Just that. My friend gave me his though. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, could I get a stealth take down in this game? 
Uh, no, shooting him in the back does not work. What? Well, so it is not like Halo. Honey Nut Cheerios are delicious. Aside, like, basically... Do you like jazz? No, not really. <laughs> oh, wait, that's, that's a different a name, B. That's a different like B. Jazz. <laughs> Newman. That's a... Numa Numa. The remastered version. I have that mm. as well. Remastered version of what? RE4. The only problem with the remastered version... I have the, I have the remastered versions of uh, RE4, RE1, and uh, RE0. But I also have the legit versions of those as well. For a game franchise I didn't like at first... Oh, come on, try to look at that fucking rifle. Stop moving, Marston. I'm getting so much sun bloom I can't even see it. I'd actually, I'm actually going to do a few more Xbox 360 games in the future. Most notably, As Creed Brotherhood, because it's sitting there, and Crackdown. Mainly because no one remembers Crackdown. No one played it for some reason, even though it's absolutely amazing. Because the kids today with their Fallout 1s just don't have the taste they used to. <clears throat> Apparently that joke does not work because, well, for obvious reasons, if you have a brain and or a historian in video games. No, you see, that's the joke, though. I keep, I'm saying, an, a del I'm deliberately saying an older game. That's the joke. That's the joke. That's and spoken. Pac-Mans and their, you know, asteroids. And their and then their pawns, and then their Breath of Fire 3s. Yeah, that game sucks. Or Halo no. Fives. <laughs> that game really I sucks. Don't... I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played Halo <laughs> Five. You haven't, and I'm assuming you haven't actually played Breath of Fire uh, Trace. No. Let's see. How do All I right. change weapons in this game? I don't remember. Uh, Press E. Shit. <laughs> this is a console. Oh yeah, you can change which uh, shoulder you over the shoulder. And you can look behind you. How do how do I go? Back? How do I switch to pistol? I don't remember. You can't. Switch, switch, oh, shoulder. maybe like you have to go in here and do that. I don't remember. Cause I want to use a different gun other than the rifle. Not that the rifle's bad, but now in real life, if you ever had to get into a gunfight, like against a concentrated opponent, a pistol is purely defensive. That's all it is, and that's all it's for. Basically, you want to use a minigun. <laughs> uh, that's more of a uh, that, that's a very different type of weapon. You wouldn't want to use that in infantry combat. You would die. <laughs> So much. <laughs> and then, of course, you'd have to somehow carry the battery, thousands of rounds of ammo. May if you had a mech suit, sure, but, uh... <laughs> you got a mech suit? And if so, please be sure to donate it to the channel. Okay, I don't mm -hmm. I do not know the quick button for uh, changing weapons, because I am an idiot. But in real life, the rifle is where it's at. The pistol is purely... Evidently, I can't shoot him. That fifty, that fifty-six fifty just can't reach that far, can it? Yeah. Well, I'd heard that people bought, Halo, bought Crackdown just to play the Halo Three beta. Yeah. Really? Which I'm not really sure why you'd do that, because while Halo Three is not a bad game, I'd say Crackdown has much more replayability. I've played Halo 3's campaign like 80 mm. times. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not as good as Halo 1's. Uh, I really didn't like that. They, now, people always complain about recasted voice actors. The problem is, the new voice actor for The Prophet of Truth and Miranda Keys is utter crap. They don't sound good. They sound shaysa! <laughs> Mainly because they are. Oh, come on. Get over the rock. Get over the rock. Uh, a rock? Am I really stuck? Okay, good. I was able to get myself unstuck from that goddamn rock. Frame rate's mm -hmm. actually holding up pretty well. I think I'm getting a solid 30 here. Oh, except that massive texture pop in right there. I like how they're just kind of standing there like... I've seen some sea branches popping in crisis when I was on the beach while trying to avoid uh, freaking Koreans. It's like, my best, God. That's Raycast. That's Vulcan. 
It is there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Run, run, run. I found an explosive ammo cheat for Halo, f or not Halo, but GTA 5. So, with my minigun, I just got to five stars and I went to the military base. So I was just wrecking the house. How could you? The tanks only lasted for like two seconds before I blew them up. My god. See, the only, the bad thing about the tanks is that you can't, like, keep them. Not, not even ten seconds after you get into a tank, the fuel starts leaking, and you only get to a certain distance before you're stuck. Yeah, that'll happen. Is it just like an anti-you-can't-steal-our-tank thing? Well, I don't think they want the, uh, player to be too overpowered. Now, of course, in real life, uh... Tanks do not get what you'd call particularly good gas mileage. Oh no. <laughs> hey, why would they? You have something that weighs 20 tons? Uh. Got him. <laughs> I was! Deep nuts. <laughs> you say, let, you say, let him keep his hat. That's the one thing I do like about the Old West. Is they had some rocket hats. But you always gotta love how, like, the, the dweeby characters, of course, have, like, the wimpy hats. It, I guess it's just sort of a law for, like, if you were a dweeb back then, you can't get a good hat. This won't sell it to you. If we play Crisis, just remind me on that, yes? Me? Yeah. Crisis 1, 2, 3, and Warhead, all completed. Alright. Can you use um, enemies as meat shields in Crisis 1? Yeah. Alright, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you can literally just throw him into a meat grinder and be like, alright, I'm gonna make a meat shield. No, like you can hold it by his neck. And you can throw him at people. Snake oil merchant. <laughs> Respectable people. <laughs> well, and people haven't gotten in. They people have literally gotten dumber throughout the years because, well, <sighs> humanity. I'll tell you this though. You know, snake oil is a very interesting thing. You know, gun oil is evidently very much snake oil. Like, what was that fire clean that was popular a number of years back? I never heard of it because I just still use hoppies after all, all these years. Or hop it hop. I, Evidently, I pronounce it wrong, but then again, I pronounce everything wrong, it seems. Is that so? Yes, yeah. uh, let us not forget your mo- Let's not forget, uh, Counter-Strike Global Operations. Hey, you know, if you actually have the context for why I got that wrong, you'd actually feel really bad right now. Really? Why? Why do you get- Why, do you why get would that? I say that out- If I said, like, if you knew the context, if it's really bad, it's like, oh, I have my leg cut off, I'm not gonna want to talk about it. I didn't have my leg cut off. I still have both legs. I have I'm all three legs. It. Are you keeping a secret from us, General? But, yeah. There's actually a lot of context for why that was. Are you going to tell it on stream, or do you have to do it afterward? I'm not going to do it at all. Oh. Although, actually, longtime fans will know what I'm talking about, so they know you know. Vulcan, tell me. Me? I'm a longtime fan. I just don't remember. I find that I find your lack of memory disturbing. I've been watching the channel for six years. Oh yeah. See, the worst part is you got you got here doing the worst part though. From two thousand. Honestly, though, uh, when it comes to the channel, uh, I know there's some people who disliked a certain period of the channel, a period that shall remain nameless. But if you look at the numbers. Uh, that was actually the most popular time for the channel. That's where I grew from uh, 1,000 subs to 4,000 subs in literally a year. So, evidently somebody must have liked it. <laughs> 80s commercials of Baller or Baylor. It says Baylor. You buying a hay baler, sir? Okay. I think this was a bad idea. I just tased my helicopter pilot in the face. Don't phase me, bro. All right. Yes, no, um, I don't want to go to Bonnie McFarland. Her missions are boring. I mean, um, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh crap. Uh, um, <laughs> no, I thought you, I thought you were gonna say respect, Wayne, or something. <laughs> uh, she's cool though, so. 
Uh, I forgot okay. I had explosive Jeez. ammo on. Uh, I gotta finish another McFarlane mission. You know, unless she can, unless she turns into Lady Spawn, I don't care. Lady Spawn. Lady Spawn in the Wild West. <laughs> there is an Old West Spawn, I think. Or, no, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else though. Oh, I'm thinking of Old West. Sam Elliott, Ghost Rider, of which he showed up for like two seconds and then left. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sam Elliott. Sometimes there's a man who might be a hero, who does nothing at all. It's funny tasing people because it's not... Don't phase me, bro. Actually, Don't. wait, speaking of phasing, bro, where the hell... Okay, we're not going to do an, uh, a Bonnie mission. Where the hell is that W? There's the dub. Nigel West Dickens. I still think it's probably going to end up being a shitty uh, mission, though, but whatever. This dude just got up after being tased eight times. Uh, of course, you realize that that can happen in real life, right? Yep. I saw this video of this... Um cop was telling this dude to get on the ground or and and to not go towards his car but the dude didn't listen they're like uh nah screw you i'm going towards my car so he goes and opens the door to his car the cop closes the door the dude gets angry walks toward the cop the cop tases him the dude starts like doing like a yell like i'm gonna get you type of yell starts running towards the cop after he was tased and he chases the cop away <laughs> yeah so Whenever the uh, SJWs say, why don't you just tase? Um, yeah, that can happen. There's actually... What really showed me and put paid to the myth that tasing is the end-all to be-all Star Trek phaser was there was this martial artist. They were doing a test with the taser. He gets tased. Mm -hmm. He goes down. And literally within about a second gets right back up again. See, the reason why this guy got up was because of adrenaline. But, uh... He he didn't he didn't even go down. He um, had an adrenaline rush, so the shock wasn't even doing anything. It's just like, oh, you shocked me. Doesn't phase me, bro. I'm getting you now. You shocked my block off. But yeah, that's that is quite scary. But that's why tasers don't necessarily work. So, and now hopefully, fair audience, you've learned something today. Oh my god. <laughs> I think pepper spray would work better because they're they uh, <laughs> they're gonna be in some serious pain. Yeah, I would say that pepper spray is definitely effective. I don't know how much better it would be, but I have tested pepper spray before. I uh, this was when I was a kid, so I could actually totally word this to make me sound really smart. Yes, I tested some before. I sprayed it in a enclosed environment just to see what the effect would be. Oh, With, without context, that makes me sound really smart. But... In context, it makes you look very pretentious. Well, okay. Oh, shit. I'm being shot to shot the shit, because... <laughs> Come on, shoot him! How many times do I have to shoot this guy in the head? Get off the horse. Use the horse's cover. Shit. I'm just so used to writing, I, I don't even know, I, I, I forget how to actually play the video games. Now, I ended up, I was a kid at the time, I sprayed some, like, in the shower area, and, uh, to see the effect diluted, and even diluted, mm -hmm. it was pretty tough, so. Getting, I know, uh, go ahead. Getting pepper sprayed is no little thing. My, uh, uncle, when he was a teenager... Uh, said, oh, pepper spray doesn't work. Sprayed some into the air. Five minutes later, he was on the ground. Yeah. Regretting spraying it in the air. <laughs> Hacking and coughing and all the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is something that people neglect to remember. That's why in some municipalities, you can't own pepper spray. Because as we all know, the chicken-headed guy... What? Oh, is this like a showdown? I think so. Let's do. Crap. Yeah. Oh, hey, General. You know that Spartan armor that I was gonna yeah. be getting? Um, the person who's selling it, uh, 
what we're gonna do is because they don't really have um, the money for it right now. Uh, we're gonna do something different as to where I make monthly payments on it. No. Okay. So the first monthly payment, I'm gonna be. They're gonna be sending it. Skip tutorial. And I'm gonna just be paying them back, paying her back the rest of the time. Which is nice. So I get the armor right away. I forgot how to draw. I forgot the control for that. Oops. Oops! Come I... on, General. You're supposed to be good at video games. I haven't played an Xbox game in probably a year at this point. Really? Yeah, I don't play Xbox nearly as much as I used to. So that's why uh, I'm sucking. <laughs> it's like, I play the, P I play the personal computers. Not the Xboxes. Ah, well, this is me getting back. And I, like I said, I haven't played this game since 2012. Okay, I beat it since in like uh, just a. I, I beat it in a short time period of time too. Back in 2012, I like binge played it because it was that good. Uh, but I haven't played it since. So, actually, Apparently that's the second game is pretty good. Pretty good. That's why it's winning all the industry awards. It's really good. Okay, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. And it's like, it's a good game from what I've seen. In general, even when compared to the shit show that is Battlefield V, uh... Oh, Fallout 76 went on sale a week after it was released. Yep. I'm not it's surprised. I am not surprised at all. But that's how that's, it goes. Not surprised in the sweetest. Not surprised in the sweets. Okay, am I on the right path? Yeah, good, I am on the path to destruction and I'm making my time. It's like, that's how video games go today. Honestly, I, I considered upgrading the PC for some time, and then I dug out an old one terabyte, and there was my upgrade because I was running out of space. Uh, but it's like, I could get a new processor and all the rest, but what would I play? The last, the last game that I played... <clears throat> that I literally stayed up all night playing was Prey 2017. That was it. There has been no game since that I've wanted to really play for hours on end. So, it, I, it's basically like... Oh, crap. Dismount infantry. The victim has died. Brilliant. <laughs> well, we may not be able to save it, but we will avenge it. Well, uh, alas, I'm just sucking today. Hey, wait, is he an, is he an enemy? No, he's not. I guess he was another guy there trying to kill, but. Alright, so, when we do another... I'm going to have to do another Red Dead Redemption live stream, just because I am sucking so bad today. It's, like, it's me right. trying to get get used to these uh, console controls again and everything. I'm going to blame it on the controls, because I can. I thought you were going to say you're going to blame it on the chat. Well, the chat's not exactly energetic at the moment, so... Them. I'm just going to blame oh. Vulcan. Why? Because oh, okay. I can't, hey, that's why. He's not blaming me today. Live in fear, for I may do that one day. Live oh, in man. fear, live in queer. Hey, wait, yeah. that's, uh, oh, YouTube's gonna take me down now. <laughs> You're welcome. That's nasty. That's nasty. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just so no one misunderstands. Right. All right, we are still on our path to destruction. We'll do the old uh, Nigel West Dickens mission. At least I'm finally able to shoot something, despite getting shot to shit myself and not saving the guy. But you know what? Um, I blame the schools. <laughs> Actually, that's probably true. <laughs> All right, where is my phone? Maybe it's just not updating. How many people are even watching anyway? Who called? Two missed calls. I did. Please wait, I ladies and gentlemen. Oops. Uh, actually, we'll need 
Return that call in a minute. I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. Hey, you gotta wait for another game, up, Mr. Mr. Marston. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. <laughs> get back here. I'm gonna kill ya. Just knock him out. I'm just running down the street on GTA 5, hitting people with um, uh, those knuckles. The brass knucks? Yep. I just find that funny. You're, you're playing one method of Rockstar, and I'm playing the story-based one. I don't think I'm strong How'd that guy get back up after I knifed him? He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of moxie. What time is it? Let's it see. is 3.30. Alright, I'm going to have to end the stream soon. And hello, William Hall. To Armadillo! To Armadillo! Astro Coach! Uh, wait, that doesn't work. What do you mean you're going to have to? Because I need to return a variety of calls. Oh. Now, there's you a... You're return my call? <laughs> There's a real guy whose name I forget at the moment. I really recommend watching the Old West vignettes. Oh crap. Stop shooting at me! Oh, come on, Dickens. Dickens will fall off the wagon to his death. Shit. This is not easy for me to. Remember the controls. Shoot his horse. I mean, oh, that's evil. It's a good thing this uh, Spencer just works better than any Spencer ever. Oh, crap. Any redacted. Crap. I said redacted. <laughs> Lost one of the horses. Well, I am sucking so bad for some reason. Come on, get him! I, I don't know, I did not- I picked normal! I did not- This did not ha- this did not happen when I played it on my- on my own. I swear, I swear, it, it, it never happens to me. Also, apparently Crisis has, um... You know, like, those points in Halo where basically there's, like, borders that, like, drop down from the screen and then there's, like, text on the bottom, right? Yeah. Crisis has them, but it's on the bottom left. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Almost there. Red Dead 2? Oh, crap. I can't blame the chat on that one. What'd you do there? Crashed into a rock. Some coldness in this gonna be island. Red Dead 2, though. Uh, when it comes on my PC, I will get it. Unless somebody wants to donate a Xbox One or a piss poor at a game. If anyone wants to donate that, then I'll play it on console, but I'm, I can be patient. It still sucks that this didn't ever get a PC port. Just torrent it. <laughs> you can't really. Well, I guess you can do that. It would take. It would, it would take a while, considering they would need to actually get it ported. Well, there's that. Well, I mean, I meant like Red Dead One. It, you can oh. emulate it, but uh, take time to heal. You can for, further explore New Austin. So, wait, Stephen F. That must mean that, sadly, Texas does not exist in this universe because that means Stephen F. Austin founded a state, maybe? Oh, no. Although it's Austin stuck. is considered the uh, SJW capital of Texas, though. I'm trying to be nice. Oh, no! It's a giant octopus! Yeah, Uh, let's the old uh There we go. 
That way, Shadow Strom does not have... Shadow, when you're done with your parental duties, just tell me, and then I'll unmute you. <laughs> Go search for the woman by Hanging Rock. This will be our last mission for the stream. Just because I need to uh, get back to that call. That's the problem. I'd actually turn the uh, phone down for a stream, only to forget to turn it back up. Oops. Oops. Alright, let's go here. American Appetites. Oh, this is another one of those uh, uh, cannibal missions. We gotta go shoot Old West Hannibal Lecter. Or shall we say, Cannibal Lecter? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, but man, can you imagine just being able to walk around with a rifle on your back and literally no one cares? I don't, it just, especially today with. I, I'm actually gonna be bringing back. Uh, journey into internet because there's an article I want to read that's actually positive that isn't stupid that isn't disgusting that I absolutely love by Larry Coria about uh, a recent gaffe that a idiot politician made uh, in short an idiotic politician actually said that if you don't turn in your rifle you're gonna get nuked look it up and I want to read this article on it. It's really quite an entertaining article, and it just goes to show you that said politician was quite the idiot when he said that. It's not overtly political, because it's not like you had to pick a side. Well, basically, unless if you count a, Ooh, I agree with this man side. Well, then that person's going to be a loony. Yeah. Yeah, we found yet another et up body. So we're kind of screwed on that one. Okay, I want to do one more mission. I want, I want to shoot one more bad guy at some point. Let's see. That, of course, is Mexico over there. Uh, do we want to... I don't even know if we can even go anywhere. We can only do a Bonnie McFarlane mission, which... Blech. That's what I say to that. It's because it doesn't stream well and is kind of boring. Hmm. What if we can just go to train? Let's see if we can go there, or if there's going to be a, uh, uh... I keep saying uh, a lot. See if there's going to be a really annoying invisible wall right there. Let's ride. And oh. I have 300 of the AK ripoff and... Not bad. Yeah, basically, um, my, um, my, I'm assuming NATO issued, uh, fancy black rifle ran out of ammo, so I'm using, uh, a rip, uh, cheap Korean knockoff, uh, AK-47. Or AKM, depending. It's probably an oh, AKM. Yeah, AKM. The Kalashnikov. Yeah, right now I'm kind of... I'm kind of uh, trying to decide what next gun to get because I can't find a good AK that's less than a thousand bucks, and I'm not paying a thousand bucks for an AK. I kind of want another lever action rifle. I kind of want a 308. Kind of want a Beretta 92. I can only get one, and after I get that one, I can't really afford to get another one anytime soon just because of ammo costs and things of that nature so whatever I get's got to be good I'm not sure what to get it's hard to say I'm just gonna ride around looking for trouble it's like it is night after all knocked shadow of nocturne one moment okay well, Shadow Crisis. has left the building. Shadow. Crisis is definitely one of those games that prior makes you prioritize headshots. Oh yeah, a lot more than. Well, yeah. Crisis, yeah. I need to stream that and play that at some point. Oh crap! Goddamn wolves! I missed. I'm using like all my uh, slow mo. Uh, one's still alive. Now he's running. Oh, 
No, I'm going to skin him alive. Oh no, you monster. Actually, I hear somebody being attacked. Hurry up, Marston, we need to save some... Oh, I know he's alive. Wolf meat. Mmm, wolf meat. <sighs> Alright, let's get... I it. just think... You know, I distinctly remember saying, um... Insert food here, blog, from those videos. Eh. Yeah, let's see. All right, but yeah, it's like trying to decide what new rifle or pistol to get. Holy crap. Well, let's see, I can't do that. All right, anyway, where was I? Um, crisis. There we go. That's my brain charge-up sound. Crisis. Uh, it is a game that is... Aiming is very difficult in that game, and actually connecting with an enemy is also quite difficult. I don't know if you've noticed that, uh, Vulcan, but, like, if you shoot at an enemy, it's like they don't die unless you, like, empty an entire mag into them. Well, basically, well, there's, like, I believe there's, like, two factors. One, um, hit fire spread, and two, um, basic. I, I feel like that, um, enemies, like, take more damage, uh, like, take less, like, way less damage in the body than they do in the head. That's what it feels like right now. Uh, I would agree with that. But, um, the shotgun that I do have is absolutely boss at putting anyone down. Yeah, but you never have enough shells for it. Now, have uh, you noticed there's, uh, two different firing modes for most of the weapons? Yeah, there's a firing mode option. And yes, in this game, yeah. you can collect flowers. That will bring oh. you some pennies. The shotgun has a ch has a uh, choke mode. Yep. Has a full choke. Sweet. That's awesome. Yep. That, that's actually going to be pretty helpful, especially with these pricks. Eventually, I shall stream Crisis. It's just there's so many goddamn games. I'm just one man, and I've been streaming a shitload the last month. Whereas once I'd do, like, you know, like, a stream a month, and then it'd be, like, months in between. Now I do it, like, once a week. Or multiple times per week. You gotta actually get a review done at some point. Although, saying that, there is gonna be a review out next week. A 20-minute long one, so... Everyone should be pleased by that, I should trust. I totally meant to do that. And I got shot... to shit. Yet again. Oh, well, you know what? I think that's a good stopping point. That, of course, is Red Dead Redemption 1. I definitely intend to do another episode of this because this was a great deal of fun, despite the fact that I was sucking so much. I don't get it. I guess since I don't play that many console games, I haven't used an Xbox 360 controller in over a year at this point. I guess it's just kind of getting used to that again. So, uh, Red Dead Fred Redemption. Oh, first one. Uh, since you joined, I'll go ahead and not immediately end the stream. Since I'm a nice fellow. Even though I was. I mean, I don't have much to say anyways. I'm just kind of doing a bit of college work. I just decided to pop in here just to kind of just have some background noise, I guess. Oh. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Try not Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 1. Alright, then I'm just going to end the stream. Since Psychotic Mario is doing his psychotic college classes. That's not my name, idiot. Yeah, uh, well... In any event, I am General Lotz, and I will wish you all good. I wish y'all, although y'all has kind of been culturally appropriated by annoying people. I will wish everyone good. Red Dead Redemption 1, or 2, or whatever, makes you happy. Red Dead Rock.